Hey, First Missionary Baptist Church, youth, and family. Hey, listen, it's Reverend Sansom coming to you again on another Tuesday to have our, our five-minute meals. I'm so excited for what God is doing, and I stand on tiptoe anticipation for what he's going to be doing in our lessons and in our times together. Listen, I'm so grateful for you tuning in this Tuesday, and just so that you know, I want you to know that I love you, and there's nothing that you can do about it, so thank you for tuning in. Catch this. Uh, we're going to talk about what we uh, did last week really quickly, and then we're going to go over into our new Bible lesson for this week, so really quick, let's do our one-minute recap. So last week, we, we talked about walking in the image of God, that we are made in the image of God. And we learned that that's wonderful news and that's good news. What, is that, what did that mean for us? That meant that our walk was different. That meant that our talk was different. And that meant that we carried ourselves different because we're made in the image of God. We're not made to be like anybody else. We're not made to walk or talk like anybody else. So just remember that. And one of the great people that we get to talk about in the Bible who exemplify being in the image of God is our friend and our brother Abram. Abram, it becomes Abraham. He becomes the father of many nations. Now, this requires him to make a major change in his life. And as we're reading our verses today, we'll learn that by him taking these first few steps, he learns, he becomes better, and he becomes one of the best people that we know in the Bible. And he's nicknamed the father of faith because of his belief and trust in God. And in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to trust, believe, and have faith in God to help us make those difficult changes in life to be the best people that we can be. Are you ready? Okay, let's get it. All right, so our, our lesson's coming from Genesis 12, 1 through 4. Genesis, Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 4. It reads, Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to a land that I will show you. And I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and him who dishonors you I will curse and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went as the Lord had told him and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he departed Haran. Catch this, our story is about our brother and our friend Abram, who at 75 years old decided to leave his uh, dad's house. Now, this is amazing. Imagine being at your dad's house for 75 years, and then you decide, hey, listen, God has told me to leave, and I'm going to leave. Imagine how comfortable that is, but also imagine how scary that is. Sometimes in life, God requires us to make, some, make moves that are truly scary, and we're not sure if we're going to be able to do it. But when we look at our brother Abram, what he does, that decision, ultimately changes his life forever and changes the life for his family because he trusted in God. First things first, God tells him to move. I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, that in order for us to have faith, we have to be willing to move. The Bible says that faith without works is dead. So if I really believe in God, i got to be willing to move. Then on top of that, then not only does he move, he moves uh, after being comfortable. It means that now he has to move in difficult situations. If we really believe in God, it means that it requires us to move even when it's difficult. It means sometimes that we have to lose some friends. It means sometimes we have to lose some people that we become comfortable with. But when God is calling you, he calls you to higher things. So sometimes you have to be willing to make that step. Some of you may be scared about college. Some of you may be scared about moving forward in a new job. Maybe you got a job opportunity and, and you're like, I don't know if I'm ready to start my first job, but catch this, God is with you. When God calls you to it, he calls you through it. I want you to understand something, my brothers. I want you to understand some of my little sisters, that all you have to do is have faith. And guess what happens? Guess what happens? Abram becomes Abraham. He becomes father of, of, of all of Israel. Out of Abraham, father of all of Israel. And out of Israel, we get Jesus Christ. And we get salvation. All because of the fact that Abram decided to make a change. Abram decided to move forward. Listen, this has been your five-minute meal. All you have to do is have faith and move forward, and God will bless you. Listen, I love you. I hope to see you next week again. And listen, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you next week. Peace.